What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've got more Ren on the docket for today. I'm so excited. Me too, because Ren has been very entertaining in everything yeah, that he's done thus far. Yeah, she always me like hanging on the edge of my chair like, what's happening next? Yeah, that's right. He's an entertainer through and through. Great musician as well. Um, I think somebody actually was saying in the last video that he's classically trained in some respects. Um, not sure if that's true or not. Sometimes people say things that aren't true. So yes. you guys can let us know if that is We need a true. professional fact checker for our comments if anybody wants to apply. <laughs> Don't actually apply. <laughs> um, so we've got Money Game Part 1 on this one. We've done one Money Game Part 3. That's one of our favorites that we've done on the channel. Yes. And, uh, you know, that we did that because it was a more recent release mm -hmm. of his and we, you know, weren't really familiar with a lot of Ren's material anyway. So so before we jumped all the way back to part one, we thought we'd check out part three and see if we liked it. Yep. So now we're backtracking a little bit. <laughs> we didn't like, did like Mighty Game part three. So we're going to part one. If you enjoy this one and want us to do part two, you can let us know. Um, we are, you know, not really sure where we're going to go next with our Ren journey. We did uh, the Tales of Jenny and Screech, which was awesome. Yeah, I love that one too. The last one that we did was Seven Sins off his most recent album, Sick Boy, which is also cool. Mm -hmm. uh, really enjoyed that. I also that. loved Animal Flow. We've done Animal Flow as well. So I know you guys were saying there's a, you know, quite a, a catalog of, of us, of things for us to check out. Um, so give your suggestions in the comments. We'd always read them. And also we were thinking of maybe going back, going back and doing High Ren again, because that was the first song that we did from Ren. And a lot of people, um, that was the, probably the hardest comments to read early on in our reaction journey because people were really harsh in those comments. Mm -hmm. um, and it almost set us away from Ren. We almost didn't come back and do any videos. Which of I would his. have been so sad now knowing more from him. Yeah. And it was only because we didn't know anything about him, right? We literally went into that reaction blind and we thought it was a comedic video that he was basically doing. Yeah. And it wasn't at the a time we, we figured like for an authentic reaction, we shouldn't do any research yeah. before. Yeah. So we thought, you know, we didn't know his backstory that he had gone through so many struggles. And so we didn't, and probably appreciate it yeah. in the way that we would now knowing his story knowing what he brings to the table knowing what his creative overcome. process yeah so maybe if we uh if you guys think that we should do high ren again um we'll take that into consideration yeah. too so if you want to let us know what your thoughts are in the comments we do appreciate them even though sometimes they are harsh and uh we've grown as a channel <laughs> it's from helped then us learn and evolve yeah for sure and um you know we we took it in stride and now like you said we're we're happy and glad that we've gotten to this point with mm -hmm. Ren because he's so creative and awesome yeah, so I love him. um anyways anything you want to add before we get started i don't think so i'm just excited to get going all right well me too let's go A uh, strange time we're living in book and put fear in Hierarchy parties, they make us feel inferior Greed runs through parliament interiors Devils walk among us, they fit the criteria Eerie, dairy, strife, fearing, weary-minded men When we're clearly living in dictatorships Nearly blinded by illusions to choose Who's fooling who? A pull chain to your shoes, I'm pain It's a crying shame The pursuit of our own wealth lights a flame And makes greed the game that lets this whole world burn as the world turns, the whole world burns But money was invented for trade But now those bits of paper Twist hearts, make slaves Turns a saint into a sinner A child into a killer His finger on the trigger of a money game Oh, rain, 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 rain A storm, it comes our way And those who rise through distorted lies Poison in the veins But we die to point the blame, 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 blame okay. It's easy as to blame But point the mirror at ourselves We're all part of this old money game That's Stop. true
president It's evident that everyone's a resident of fear When they support these ideas to keep us separate When they make us believe that everybody is coming to terrorize you in the streets They say badly through grit your teeth, that's my right to hate That's feeling my speech But when did freedom become a reason to hate? A way to justify a racist slur or insult we make? There's an irony in freedom, cause us in the West We have pillaged and put the demo that let's have a just colonize all of the rest That's called hypocrisy, preach a certain value that you never keep yourself Your country was in flames, you don't- He said a lot in there. Yeah. Hypocrisy of colonization, uh, I think is what the gist of that yeah. long line was. Um, you know, I really- enjoy when he has the acoustic process but makes it sound so soulful yeah you know he has a great way of switching we said this before switching up his cadence and and having a delivery that keeps you engaged but it also sounds really soulful in the inflections that he's using to make it as a song and not just saying words right i think yeah. he does that in a great way from the song composition yeah. standpoint and this is a little bit hard for me to pick up on everything. First listen, no, um, you know, introduction with lyrics or anything on the screen, um, catching everything on the first listen. But, uh, you know, uh, he's had some cool bars in there, you know, uh, turn Satan into a, a sinner and a child into a killer. And, uh, you know, how he just slips in these, these lines that are really powerful, but doesn't, that's what's in, interesting about him is like a lot of times other songs you'll listen to when they want you to focus on a bar or something, they'll make it stand out. Mm -hmm. He just kind of has so many along it's the like way. Slipped in here, slipped in there. Yeah. That he doesn't really need to focus on one or two and make them stand out. Yeah. It's, just, it's really cool. Cause I think when you go back and listen to his stuff, you just pick out more and more along the way, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, Oh, I didn't even catch that line the first yeah. time, but that's really cool that he said yeah. that that fits in really well in that part. And that reminds me a little bit of Eminem when I, was I say that. I just thinking that, yeah. In that, you know, you can listen to Eminem songs from 20 years ago. Yeah. And you go back and you're like, damn, I didn't even catch that all this time. <laughs> There's always going to be something that's going to go over your head the first time you listen to it the second time. Yeah. So that's, I think, the positive and the negative of listening to somebody like Ren in the same same light in that you might miss a lot of the stuff on the first listen to it, but yeah. you can go back and listen to it exponentially in the future and still appreciate it yeah no i totally agree and i think that you know i think for me the thing that i love the most about him is the way that he uses his tonality and speed and inflections in his voice for the delivery to like you said emphasize different things or to bring different emotions out throughout the delivery the only thing i'll say with this one is that like i wish that his vocal was just a little bit more at the front and mm. the acoustic like the guitar was a little bit more at the back because me and my like ADHD brain, like I'm getting distracted by the guitar because it's just like this like strong strum. Mm. And every time they do that, it almost like distracts me from what he's saying and I focus on the guitar. So I just wish it was like a little That's bit That's also more. The, the first listen aspect though too, yes, right? Sometimes yeah. the music will sit in yes. more naturally when you listen to you it more times. Expect, yeah. Sure. And he's also got an accent I feel like is a little bit stronger in this one um, than in the, so, some of the other ones that we've done, which first listen again, you might not pick a up on all harder. the lyrics, right? So yeah. I'm liking it though. Yeah. Again, same feel. He's you know, it's it doesn't have much reminiscent of the money game sound that we listened to in the part three. Part three, yeah. It's just like the same theme, yeah. But it's cool that he's kind of kept the same theme of topic of how money is so influential in our lives. Yeah, we don't even realize it half the time, and it separates us and divides us. And you know, that's a theme. And this one, I think, it's more the general idea of money. Yeah. Whereas in the last one that we did, or the part three, it was a specific story that yeah he was a better telling. person yeah yeah but i think that's kind of cool because that's probably what keeps it engaging with like to still want to listen to all of them it's not like a topic that's getting mm -hmm. old right because it's so different in each yeah one. well you can talk about so many instances where mm -hmm. money will play games with people right for sure games <laughs> Money. Irony and freedom, cause us in the West We have pillaged and put the demo that let's have a discolor and that's of the rest That's called hypocrisy, preach a certain value that you never keep yourselves Your country was in flames, you denigrate yourselves in a second Still you spit your venom, demonizing immigrants When really you're the immigrant, cause all of us are immigrants Or descended from immigrants, irony is imminent I'll shed the light on immigrants America was colonized by Britain Britain, it was colonized by Rome and also colonized by the Saxons. They were German, by the way. You know how people throw shade upon the Germans because of history's pain, and yet we made the same mistakes all the game. Demonize a whole people, Jewish or Muslim, the same and the same. Old situations play on repeat. The same old TV shows repeat. Yeah, we worship the bleak. Our opinions are our own, and we follow like sheep. There's no left, there's no right. In the middle, we sleep. Rain, 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 rain. A storm, it comes our way. And those who rise, who distorted lives 
poison in the veins But we'd like to point the blame, 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 blame It's easier to blame But point the mirror at ourselves We're all part of this old money game it's not, He's not playing the guitar in this one it Hasn't been anyways Take video. So money game. Always with the dramatic endings. I know. I was like, what's going to happen? Because in the last money game that we did, he had the gun, right? Mm -hmm. Put the gun to his head type yeah. thing, right? And so this one, he was basically... I don't, set himself on fire. Yeah. And I don't know the significance. I, you know, maybe you guys can elaborate in the comments because, you know, he went from putting it on the guy that was in the chair there who he was he obviously... Drew the eyeballs on? Yeah, that he was abusing throughout. And then... Um, at the end, put it on himself, turn it on himself. So I assume that's got to be representative in some way and that like, you know, he's acting like maybe he's money in some respects, like he's in control in some respects related to money. But in the end of the day, it's like just making him think that he's in control and that he doesn't have it under control and that he's going to break eventually something yeah. related to that concept. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, just throwing it out there off a whim here, but yeah. usually he has some meaning to the stuff that he's For discussing. For sure, 100%. And I don't know if you heard me, and I was saying that uh, he wasn't playing the guitar in this one. Oh, no, I didn't hear you say that. Right, so uh, in all the other one, not all the other ones, but from what I can remember, he's been playing the guitar himself. Yeah, in this a one, lot of them. Yeah, this one he was just focusing on the performance and the lyrics. He was singing a lot more in this one that we heard as well, mm -hmm. um, switching it up on that. And... Um, it was cool. Like I, again, I was just so engaged with it. So entertaining. I, you know, the outro was, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds there, but I was wanting to see where he was going to go with it and yeah. what he was going to do with it. Yeah. So as an entertainer, an entertainer, he does that very, very well to keep you, like I said, distinctly engaged with the process of creativity. And, um, the last thing I was going to say was just re related to some of the messaging that he was talking about, how we're all immigrants. And that was like a theme. I don't necessarily think that that played into the money game idea. I mean, I guess it does in some respects that, you know, the process of colonization, whether it was Rome, like you said, or Britain or America, you know, that was the process of, um, using different cultures to get ahead economically. And that allowed, uh, certain countries or, um, empires to get ahead. And, you know, so I wouldn't say there's a real 
distinct connection for like the money game idea. I think maybe he was just highlighting, as I said, the general topic of uh, wealth and influence and rather than money specifically, yeah. um, it can be attributed to influence as well. Um, so, you know, I, and I do agree that the idea of colonization can be looked at as a bad thing in a lot of respects. There was a lot of negatives that came from it of obviously harming people in the wrong ways and, you know, abusing people's cultures and taking things that aren't yours, all bad things, clearly. But also we wouldn't be where we are today if it hadn't have been for certain cultures having the desire as humans do to progress and achieve and, you know, the unfortunate things of greed and everything else end up with the uh, pursuit of greatness in some respects. So, you know, I, I, I think sometimes that we just overlook that, you know, today we wouldn't be where we are if we hadn't have had a desire to grow. I think it's just, unfortunately, humans do it the wrong way when they yeah. get power or they have the ability to do things that aren't good. They take the easiest, fastest road to get there and that can result in a lot of negatives. So I think maybe the way it happened was not the greatest and, you know, it could have... Uh, been done differently is the way I kind of try to think about it. Yeah, without so much like fallout and, you know, collateral damage to the people. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I enjoyed it. I liked it. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite one that we've done, but I definitely liked it. And I, I one thing I liked about this one was kind of the contrast between the verses where he was rapping and then the kind of chorus portion where he was singing because he was singing a little bit more in this. And I thought it was cool to hear that diversity in his voice because he's talented with that as well. And I think like with a couple more listens and being able to pick up a little bit more of what he was talking about, um, like we talked about before, because it's very complex, um, I would like it more and more and more each time probably um and i thought that you know he always does a great job with coming up with these like super creative videos and different settings and you know like multiple meanings behind them which is really neat i think with like the colonization thing what i kind of took from that was that he was saying like how he was talking about we're all immigrants and whatever he led that into talking a little bit about political sides right and said the left and the right and we're all technically on the middle because we all have I guess technically coming from the same place and whatever what I took from that was more so that like people use where people are from as you know to what brings them together to hate against other people and the money is kind of like fuels out of people's control and power and you know I guess like your community or who you're banded against but at the end of the day we're all the same kind of thing is what I had taken from that but I would agree it's not like as much about just like money as a specific it's more about like I took more of a power from this I would say um but overall I liked it like I think he he hasn't really disappointed in any of the ones that we've done and they've all been so diverse but still so engaging which mm -hmm. is cool yeah I, I don't disagree with anything that you've said I think um money is power in a lot of respects mm -hmm. right um I also think that when it comes to I mean it's a one song and he didn't it's about like you said money and power and stuff so you know the topic of immigration is a huge one in itself right mm -hmm. and um the cultural influence dynamic of that too. And I think like people, as he was saying, and as you alluded to the, the left, right, we're centered, you know, we're all the human beings at the end of the day. I think though we try to make it cut and dry, like an, an issue like immigration, for example, and it's not, it's very, very nuanced. There's very, very, uh, de you know, important details that I think we try to gloss over and just say it's this way or it's that way. Yeah, because fair. for me, I think that, yeah, like on some, Hand, on one hand, immigration can be a good thing, but on another, on another hand, it can be a bad thing. Yeah. But you know, people try to paint it as if you're against immigration, you're a racist, and other other people try to you know paint it as if you're for immigration, then you're not for you know your own country type yeah. thing, your own cultural values. There, so. Yeah, nobody can find what I think what Ren was saying. The in between is that there is a specific, you know. Uh, there are specific details that matter. It's like, you don't want to just have people coming into your country that are going to tear it all down. You want, you know, people to come in that want to build your country up. Right. Yeah. So anyways, I think, like I said, that wasn't about the topic of the video, but we yeah. got into a little more detailed conversation. And anyways, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, make sure you hit the like button for us. And uh, if you were entertained as much as we were entertained and you want to join us on this journey that we're on, we've got a subscription button down below that you should hit. But don't forget that notification bell because YouTube is a little bit finicky and not telling our subscribers when we drop new videos, which is every single day. Mm -hmm. Drop two between music, comedy, 
and sports. Lots of variety. Yeah. So if you like that content, this is the place to be. And we'd love to have you on the journey that we've been on for over a year now and gaining over 100,000 subscribers yes. within a year, less than a year, so actually. Come join us. Yeah. And uh, we want you to come alongside us so we can grow even further and have a great ride going forward. So if you'd like to do that now, hit the like button, leave us a comment, and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.